I have created Barad-dûr, otherwise known as the Eye of Sauron from Lord of the Rings. Now this build is giant, and I definitely wanted to kind of put it to its giant test and set it up to some of my other biggest and tallest Lego sets. So here we have the Disney castle. It comes up about this high. Let's go straight over. That is nearly half the size of Badadur, half the height. So we got Orthanc right here, and it's definitely shorter too. Okay, one of the tallest Lego sets that I think is still in production is the Saturn V. And look up this. Okay, we got the tip, and that's just pretty cheating because look how long this piece is. It's like shorter. We got the Saturn V is shorter than Baradur. Comparing Baradur to these sets is kind of unfair because this set cost more around the price that it would cost for the Millennium Falcon. And excuse me, I'm almost finished building the Millennium Falcon. But not quite there. So let's compare the $800 Eye of Sauron to the $800 Millennium Falcon. And the pro piece comparison is also very similar. They use about the same pieces. So we're going to have to get a little up higher to really see the size difference. Now, that definitely fits the size now a little better than these small sets. But... Because this set is so flat, it's, it has a giant footprint, but Empatador has a giant footprint too. And the height. So I personally, I don't know what I like better. Well, I like both of them for different reasons. Something I just thought that's kind of funny is this has a very gray color scheme to it. Uh, so a very mono color scheme. And then Empatador also has a very mono color scheme very much black. While we're here, let's take a bit of a closer look at what we have. So first, let's take a look at the exterior. So there was lots of design elements to create all the spikes and spookiness. So I do have an interior to this Lego set, but it's not quite as good as the outside. I, the outside's really nice. There's some rock features all along the side that kind of wrap around and another thing or downside is when you get looking at the Eye of Sauron from this angle, it is very skinny and flat. It definitely looks smaller, but it's still substantial. We have a few balconies and then let's go up the tower a little bit more and it's just detailing. So this was actually a Lego set design that I found online. I'll have a link in the description where you can talk to the guy who actually um, and get the instructions for yourself. So you just send him an email and he'll uh, then you send him like a PayPal and invoice and well, he'll send you an invoice and then you can buy the set instructions and then go on to BrickLink and get all the pieces. So there's a lot of adjustments I definitely had to make in building this from the instructions. So you have to use a little bit of your own creativity, but the instructions definitely helped out a lot. So here's the interior. I feel like I would do a lot of changes the interior, this is basically what the instructions had. There we go, I got a light so then we can see inside the building a little bit better. So this is the Orc Forge where they are able to build stuff and then we have a prison on this side. Over here is just empty corridor, kind of a throne room like area, but the real throne room is right here and an empty corridor. So I, trying to figure out what I do need to put on inside to really make it glow this is probably my favorite room is all the rings and that orb i forgot the name of the orb oh, i should know it but these are all the or rings that sauron made and then up here we have another just forgery type room and then this one's actually pretty good too we have a study and then top room like an obelisk or something and then the back side of the eye and you can see this is the button you press the button and it glows. You can see the glow, there you go, yeah. So you press it, it glows. The eye could come upside down. You can look at all directions. If you have any other questions, thoughts, or ideas of what to do and put in the interior, just let me know in the comments section.